Now think, let's say as a math teacher, I only assign my students 10 problems for homework. Like, no big deal, right? So they go do their 10 problems and they come back. And then I'm looking like, oh, oh, you are so close. You're so, I mean, you're so close. You're just like, you're just like missing this little negative here. And like, are you with me? You track with me? Like, you got this right? Okay. Would you do those again? laugh now, right? Because no student is going to do it again. It's just like mentally they are done. Now, yeah, I'm just asking them to look at and fix up 10 problems, but in their mind they are done. And when you are done, you don't feel like you want to go back and do it again. And so when I look at, um, I'm working on my doctorate, so when I look at the feedback that my teachers give me, I'm not grateful for the comments they give me. You know, oh, you made this mistake on your APA and then this is, the, you know, this is not right, this could have been better. Well, that's awesome. That's information I could have used two days ago. Now it's useless. I'm like, oh, I get it now, but I have no opportunity to fix it, and there's nothing I can do about it. And even if I could, I've already turned it in. I'm on to the next assignment, and I really just don't feel like I want to go back and redo it. And I hear a lot of teachers complaining about this, like, I let my students fix their work. They can come in and fix their test, or they can redo their essay, but they don't, and we complain about it. But there's this mentality thing about being done. So we can't let our students be done and then give them the feedback. That's a critical error in teaching. What we want to do is capture them in the middle of the process, before they turn it in, where that feedback goes from being after the fact uh, evaluation feedback to being something they can use in the moment and it's super helpful. So when I tell a student you need a topic sentence and you don't have subject verb agreement or whatever, so I'm going through their essay and I'm giving them help while they write it, while they're doing their work. That's not something like, oh, I could have used that 10 days, like, oh, thanks, because now my grade is going to be better, I'm going to feel more confident when I turn it in, and it puts me partnering and pairing with the teacher rather than the teacher coming along the side and smacking me at the end. So this is a really critical shift in what we do when we teach. And this is why Google is so awesome, because the students can turn in the work and then do it, as opposed to do it and then turn in the work. So if they turn it in, I now as the teacher have access to it while they work on it, and I can give them that feedback in the middle of the process. So by the time they turn it in, I really don't have grading to do because they've already made the corrections, and the student feels super confident and now we're really learning.